welcome back cobra here and we have another soul mask video so this is the closed beta the official game will release in six days on the 31st of the month which is a very great surprise we got this morning but so exciting content we have for you today we're going to be showing you how or everything you need to know about the fog frog boss this would be things you need for it uh, preparations you should make as well as the actual boss fight. So just to start, we will go ahead and head over. You can see the environment here itself is poisonous. I will show you how to prepare for that uh, the best ways you can in just a little bit. But we're gonna start off by showing you guys the materials you're going to need. So you can see right here these are the four materials you're going to need for it. You're going to need one worship container, two blood activating creams, five acidic fluids, and five aloe essences. So we'll go ahead and head out of this arena so that way I'm not taking any more poison damage. And I will explain to you how to get each of those materials. So we're going to head right over here. And now we're not taking this damage. So we're going to pull up this menu here. You can see there's a formula search. You can type these things in. So we're going to go blood. So there's our blood activating cream. It requires beast blood, bone powder, aloe essence, and gypsum. Gypsum can be mined. It can be found in chests in the beginning areas. Um, bone powder is made by grinding up bones in the grinder. Beast blood can be harvested from all kinds of different animals. The aloe essence, on the other hand, which you need two for each of the blood activating creams, so that's four, plus the five for it, so you're going to need actually a total of nine of this, it requires aloe juice and aloe flowers. Aloe, as well as aloe juice, can be found, you look on the map, in these areas over here, in chests. A lot of the ancient ruins will have little chests that you can open um, or even like the little barbarian camps, you can find them in the chests, the aloe juice, and uh, or aloe leaves. And that can be turned into everything you need, as well as planted if you want to get more. Um, aside from that, we also need acidic fluid. The acidic fluid is probably the easiest. It requires water and any of the three, sulfur powder, tomato, or guava. Guava, and, or guava can be found in these chests in the same region as well. Tomatoes, I believe, can actually be found in the beginning areas in some of the barbarian camps. You can find them for their seeds. And sulfur powder can be found. I don't actually have the region discovered, but down here beneath the frog is where you're going to be able to find the sulfur. And then the last thing that is required for the frog is going to be the worship container. Now, the worship container actually requires you to fight a boss. There are the ways that most people are going to do it, which is going to fight a barrack. Barbarian barrack, you can see here's one. There's another one over here. You know, there's this giant one up here. There's one right here by the copper mine. Those barbarian barracks for each of the tribes, the bleeder when you kill them, or like the giant enemy at the end, will drop five worship containers. The other option is some of these little ancient ruins. You can see where it says Guardian Outcast Leader. When you kill the Outcast Leader, there you can also get the Worship Containers as a drop. I will show you a clip right now um, getting those Worship Containers from killing one of those bosses. And then we will come right back over and get started with a little bit more of this info. Okay guys, so talking about the Worship Containers. So I just want to show you where you can get them on the map. There are a bunch of different places. You can get them here at the Barbarian Barracks. You can get them here, or sorry, here at the Barbarian Barracks. There's another Barbarian Barracks right here. I guess I have not discovered that yet. I'm going to assume you can get them at the Barbarian Fortress, although I haven't tried that. But there's also a few other places. You can see around the map, You've got these ancient ruins. A lot of them will say Guardian Outcast. That is just a normal one. But if you find one like where I'm at right now, ancient ruins with Guardian is Outcast Leader. So you can see there's the normal Outcasts. 
There is a harder one, Outcast Leader, level 30, Master Hunter. If you kill that boss right there, they drop Worship Containers. So if you don't feel like clearing an entire dungeon, sorry, an entire camp, like one of these, you can just make your way over to one, something like this, Ancient Ruins, that has a leader, and you can get your Worship Containers there. One more thing I did want to mention about the frog before we go back over there for footage of the actual battle. You have to be level 30 to do it. As far as gear goes, I do recommend, if possible, iron gear. If not possible, you want the highest level bronze gear that you can get. The frog does pack a punch. If it hits you, uh, it's very possible to just dodge it. You just need to watch out for one poison attack, uh, but you'll see footage of that right now. All right, everyone. So now that we showed you that, we're going to go back over here into this area. You notice that you take damage just from being around here, and I will show you what you need for that. But the bigger thing are these frogs. You can see they are arrow poison frogs. They're decent level. You're going to want to fight these because... They hit pretty hard. I'm going to let this one hit me so you can see. Actually, I have a lot of poison resist on this, and he doesn't seem to be inflicting me with it. But typically, they will hit you for about 50 a tick once they get you poisoned with their poison ability. So that's one thing you want to really clear out. So just before you fight the boss, you're going to want to just scan the area. And just any poison frogs that are near the altar, you're going to want to take out. And then you can also see you just passively take damage over time. There are a few ways that you can reduce and even get rid of completely this damage. And I'll show you that right now. So the first thing is we have these mods. You can see on my armor I have poison proof 10%. Now you can put this on everything except the ring and necklace. So I have 40% poison proof. Now I'll show you right here, that is going to be this right here, Poison Proof Mod 2. Requires rubber. Easiest way to get rubber, you can find it in chests in these same regions. And fine cotton can be made using cotton. So that's actually not too bad as long as you're getting lots of chests, which you're going to need for the other items as well. And you can, like I said, put that on four different pieces of equipment for a total of 40% Poison Proof, which helps a ton. Like, you go from taking 70 to 100 uh, hits of poison every tick to taking less than 10. So that makes a very big difference. The other thing that you're going to notice that is very important, I actually have some in my inventory. There's these two items. Plant Essence, which you can see instantly recovers 200 HP, cures all minor injuries, severe injuries, and necrosis, and removes 60% poison from the body as well as antidotes, poison resist plus 50, and poison damage minus 20% for 10 minutes. This, mixed with the poison proof mods, are going to give you ridiculous amounts of poison resist to where you will take minimal, if any, damage. <coughs> so I'll show you how to make these right here. So we're going to go to antidote. You can see an antidote is going to take plant essence, as well as guava, mushroom, and phosphorus powder. So easiest way to get phosphorus powder. You're going to see right up here, just a little above us, there is a meat pit for the Flint tribe that has phosphate ore. It's a little cave right here on the map, and then these areas around here actually have phosphate ore. On the outside, you can gather some of that. It One phosphate ore will make two phosphorus powder, so you don't actually need a lot in order to make quite a few of these things. And then the guava is going to be found also in chests in this region around here. You can also plant it, uh, you can turn it into seeds, or if you manage to get seeds, and you can plant it and grow your own, so that way you have a replenishable source. And then the other, the plant essence, which is what's going to be needed a lot. This one requires aloe essence, cashew, sulfur powder, and either papaya or herbs. Herbs are really easy to get early game, you can just find the plants and just pick them up all over the rainforest area over there. Um, sulfur powder, 
Once again, sulfur, you're going to get in this area down here. And you can make that sulfur powder from it. And then the cashews. Cashews I have typically only found in chests. Um, again, I find most of them in these regions over here. I'm sure you can find them in other regions. But this is where I normally find them. And the last thing, once again, is the aloe essence, which I mentioned briefly earlier. Same thing, the aloe, which you find in chests in these areas. So really, if you just go through and you get a lot of chests in these areas, you're going to get most of the ingredients you need for a lot of these different things. Once you have your plant essence, your antidotes, and your poison proof mods, you should be good to go. Head over to that arena, kill all of those frogs, and then take on the boss. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to go do this boss fight for you right now. Drink this antidote. Yep, I just drank mine. Yep, they got theirs too. Okay. Frog! Fog frog, round two. Now that we know what we're doing, let's see how easy this goes. drink some water so I don't fucking pass out this time. <laughs> there he is. <clears throat> Watch out for that gas. That's what kills people. Oh, he just hit me for a thousand damage. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say that's... Drops, he hurts. Oh, man. He hit me again. It, se it seems like you're the person he's after. Well, then I'm just gonna keep dodging if that's the case. Just watch when he puts the purple out, though, because he spews it out of his back. Oh! Get that bleed. Get the bleed. Got the bleed. Got the bleed. Getting the heal. Oh. Yeah, no, this guy hurts. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. He's still going after me. I don't know why he likes yeah. me so much. Well, at least Necro won't die this time. Yeah, because because I'm taking all the damage. Okay, watch out! Watch out when he spews. Watch out, watch out. We're in the pot. We're in the poison. We're in the purple. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Out of the poison. Okay, Drinking so that it plant essence actually got rid of the poison. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it. It's not that I'm dead. it's useless. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. Are you savable? I don't think so. Nope, I'm dead. Dude. Oh, I was just about to get you, too. And I don't think we have the thing over there anymore. Nope, it went out. Shoot. Yeah. I'm down waiting on you guys. Okay, well... Someone will have to go over and get some, uh, some wood and <coughs> shove it in the... That's why I don't stick by its fucking back leg. Look at that dodge timing on that. Finish him! Finish him! That didn't sound good. Somebody fucking took damage. He's down. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope this was a helpful video for you. Uh, if you have any other questions about the Fog Frog boss, uh, any of the preparation for it, or how to do the battle itself, just please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out with that. And please like and subscribe the channel. I um, appreciate all the support, and I will have more videos coming for you. So see you soon.